Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just have a couple of uh, little articles I want to share with you that Tessa sent me. This one is from a publication called Life Hacker. It says, Do Everything Better. The title says, Delete, in parentheses, Go SMS Pro from your Android now. So if you have this downloaded to your Android tablet or phone, it is saying, delete it now. The Go SM Pro Messenger with free themes and emoji says it's the best free video editor and video maker uh, it says DEV, Developed dev, de, Device Communication, maybe. E for Everyone. Contains ads, offers in-app purchases. It says this app is compatible with your device. I guess if you go to download it, it would tell you that or not. Uh, you can share this with your family. And then... Gives you the thing to install. Well, the article goes on to say, the Go SMS Pro texting app has over 100 million installations from the Google Play Store, but popularity doesn't matter. You need to stop using it and delete it from your phone now. Cybersecurity firm Trustwave recently discovered a major security loophole in the app that makes all video, uh, photos, videos, and other media attachments that you've sent through the app publicly accessible. And in parentheses, that's very bad. Close parentheses. Now, now listen to this. Here's what's happening. All media files that you send via Go SMS Pro are saved to a server and assigned a URL. Those URLs are not secured in the slightest, making them accessible to anyone else who knows the correct URL. Now, I had to stop and ask myself, how would anybody that you didn't want to have, say, a picture you took and you shared it with a friend, okay, do you think your friend is going to share it with a stranger? Oh, it's possible. Look at this cool tree. They know their friend loves trees. Look at this cool tree that my friend took. Now, I don't know anything about this or if the URL shows like at the top when you go to a website the URL shows right there that's the address you're at when you're on a website now if you turn the page the URL will change every page has its own URL so if that bothers you if you think that anybody that you're sending pictures videos, or whatever else I said, might be sharing it with somebody you don't want some of those pictures to be seen by, delete the thing and don't use it. Okay, I'll leave the link so you can read the rest of it. And there's a thing over here that says how to block spam calls on Android and iPhone. Ooh, I need to read that, but I don't have time. And it's hard for me to read, so I'm limiting my reading. Okay, this one 
is from ABC Eyewitness News online, their online publication. It says Cash App Fake Contact Number Scam. Okay, let me read that better. Cash App Fake Contact Number Scam. Steals thousands of dollars from users by Samantha Chapman, Friday, November 20th. Okay. There is a video here you can watch for 4 minutes and 36 seconds. Chicago. Several people have contacted the ABC7i team saying they thought they were speaking to a customer service agent for a cash app, but ended up losing hundreds of dollars to scammers. Sharita Rees said she's used cash app on her cell phone several times, but recently had problems accessing her money. Sounds kind of like a PayPal thing. She said she didn't see a customer service number on the app, so she did what many people do when they need a company number. I went to Google it. So I Googled the number, she said. So the guy answered, and once the guy answered, he said, sure, I can help you with that. Minutes later, Ree said she received a call from a man who claimed to be Cash App supervisor. She said he asked her to download an app so he could check Cash App on her cell phone remotely. You know how when you get your computer fixed, you can let your computer company that you have a contract with take over your computer remotely. I guess it's like that. So as he's helping me, I can see he's going through the cash app. It's like moving on my screen. I'm like, wait a minute, what are you doing now? We said, next thing I know, $350 was deducted from my account. And then he says immediately, goodbye, I'm watching this right before my eyes, it's nothing I can do, at this point I'm helpless. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's when you call the FBI, even though they're in the dark, deep, deep state, dark state, whatever. There are some good ones and they do act like they do their job and something like this. What is that? Jackie Page said she too was scammed by someone pretending to be a Cash App customer service rep. Well, how did... Like Reese, she Googled... Cash App's technical support number spoke with a so-called agent and was asked to download an app so they could gain access to her phone. I'm thinking I'm going through a verification process, but what he was doing was deducting funds, and this happened within one minute, Page said. She said more than $3,000 was taken from her Cash App account. Both she and Reese are devastated. I'm on a set income, and I'm not rich, and I wouldn't want this to happen to no one else, Paige said. The Better Business Bureau issued a scam alert after Cash App customers across the country reported being tricked into sending hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars, to scammers when they thought they were speaking with Cash App technical support reps. Glad I don't have one. 
According to the BBB, people looking for help with their Cash App account often search online for a support phone number. They think they're calling a Cash App representative, but they're really dialing a scammer who posted the phony number online. But how do those phone numbers end up on Google in the first place? Cybersecurity expert Randy Haba said scammers set up web pages that look like the company's website. And on the site, they'll add a phone number so that customers looking for help will contact the scammer directly. He said the thieves' websites can end up at the top of a Google search with the help of a search engine optimization. It's amazing what you can find out on Google search. I typed my name in one time and I was blown away. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> I had no idea. But see YouTube is with Google. They used to be with Google something that they're not anymore. I can't remember what it was called, but it was Google something. And then, so when you do a Google search, it's attached to everything Google. Gmail, that's Google. Okay. So anyway, I think you get the idea. It does go on if you want to read more. I will put the link, and I noticed down there there was a full statement from Google. You know, it's like if it's out there and it's it's in any way attached to Google, like this Cash App might be, uh, it's going to go up there. It's like, well, you know, you got a YouTube channel, so your name's going to be in our search engine. You know, like if I were to complain, uh, I don't want, why would I not want anybody to find my channel, though, if they were doing it that way? Anyway, I mean, that's just dumb, but I'm going to end this here, and with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I watch out for that, that app on your phone, or this one too. Be careful, y'all. These people are trying any way they can to take your money, especially now the holidays are here. Don't go shopping alone, and I wouldn't do it in the dark either. Okay, bye for now. Talk to you later.